Hello Hackforms, uh, just before you go on with this video, I'd like to let you know that this video was done as I was creating the server for my first time as I hadn't been dealing with rats or any other hacking program for a couple of months due to I was inactive and I had some issues in real life. So if there is any error or any uh, misused words in the video, I'm sorry and I will be editing it as much as I can. But please note that I am not a video editor and I still hope that this video was useful to you. Take care and good luck with the video. Hello Hackforms, my name is Sacreds and today I'll be showing you how to set up Dark Comet 5.3. I know a lot of you guys have questions on how to set it up so hopefully this video will teach you how to and simply. I haven't done a video in a while so I hope you guys like it, stay tuned. As you see I already extracted the uh, Dark Comet 5.3 to a folder and here it is. You'll want to run Dark Comet 5.3 the application. Now before running it, do note that your antivirus may or may not pick it up as a false positive and it may uh, delete it, quarantine it. That can be easily solved by opening up your antivirus program and going to the ignore list and adding it there. Anyways, run the program. Okay, but fine. Now, usually the interface looks the mostly like previous versions of Dark Comet. Nothing hasn't really changed, as I see. Socket, usually the port 1604. Yep. Okay. You'll want to go on the left top corner where it says Dark Comet Rat. You'll click that little arrow popping down. And you'll go to Server Module. And if you wish to do it quick, if you've already had the port forward and the no IP set up, then you might just want to quick, click quick. Okay, stub ID is who's your is your victim's name. So I mean you could put victim I guess. Okay, your IP DNS is your up here is your no IP is your dynamic update client. And what you want to do if you don't haven't set it up already is open a new web page and go to no IP. Once you sign in, you'll click on manage host and you'll add a host. Usually host name keep it simple. So just put maybe your hack forms username and then put dark comment and here you can choose any it doesn't really make a difference but the most three common ones that I've seen is no ip.org info or biz I'll go ahead to .org okay and you'll click on update you'll scroll down and click on update host if you haven't downloaded the client just click on download client and just click again download now and extract it and set it up and everything will be fine and then I'll ask you for an email and then client ID. You just log on. Now, one, once you do create your new IP, you, if it doesn't update automatically, you go to edit hosts. And mine's already checked, but you have to check yours out and click save. And then a check comes and it'll automatically refresh. And if you have three checks, you're good to go. Just click refresh now. Okay. And now you go back to dark comment and you'll click on IP. And you'll type in the IP you just made, which in my case is this IP.org. Now, here comes the port forwarding. Some find it difficult, some find it easy. It, well, it depends on your router, I'd say. Uh, what you want to do is click on C and, uh, Start button, and in the run, click on type in CMD, press Enter, and a black box will come up. Type in I P C O N F I G, which spells I P config, and click on enter. Okay, and you'll scroll all the way up until you find Ethernet adapter local area connection, and you'll find your IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.4. And again, you'll open a new page, and my router page is already logged on. But in order to access this page, all you'll do is, this is your new internet page, and you'll type in 192.168.1.1. And usually default username is admin, and default password is password on most routers. And then you'll scroll down to port forwarding, port triggering. And you'll add custom service. Service name, if you live with your parents and your mom and dad usually check up on your router then the, the name could be anything 
I like to keep it simple and organized, so I just put dark comment. Service type, make sure TCP, UDP is both. And starting port, like I said, dark comment is 1604 for both of them. And your server IP address is what you'll be getting out of your CMD box. Like I said, mine is 0.4. So I'll be typing in 0.4. Click on apply, and everything should go smooth. You've just port forwarded. You'll go back to dark comment to the stub, it's 1604. Your key name, uh, for the video's sake, I'll just leave it at dark comment rat, but this could be anything. Uh, this is your name of the server. So for example, if you're doing a webcam, I guess it'll be webcam.x. And destination path is where the file will be sent to. Usually people do it to system32, okay, and they just name it anything. After maybe a Microsoft update name, or something of that sort and just to generate the stub if you want it smaller size or normal size just go with the normal size I guess okay and then you'll save the desktop the name just for the video okay click on save the stub was successfully generated okay alright it's generated so we'll go to the desktop and here it is. Now, your antivirus might pick this up as it hasn't been encrypted yet. So what you might want to do before you even run it is open your antivirus program. And just let it open real quick because I think this one's already performing the scan. Okay. Give it a second. All right. Here it is. And then you'll go to ignore list and you'll go to add and you'll search up the server you made, just made and it's right here and click on OK and just run it. Now if it, it, it probably won't come right away but just give it a second or two and I'm sure it'll pop up and you've just made your own server and it's completed successfully. No problems, no issues whatsoever. Here I am. Yep. And uh, there's nothing more to it. Now, I would suggest getting a cryptor, as I said, because if you don't crypt your server, then it will be detected by basically almost any antivirus. So just get a cryptid on high forms. Crypt crypts are, are no more than a dollar, but usually if you want to keep it safe and updated, you might want to buy a logon to a cryptid and get it there. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'm glad I could help you. If you have any questions, just send me a message and I'm glad to help. Take care.